Okay, so I have so many mega boxes uh, to organize or sort stuff. This one is for assorted screws. This one is for um, wall mount stuff. Okay, here's a label maker. And here's for um, managing wires. Oops. Here, here's for managing wires. And I have a whole bunch more here and there. So I need to put labels on them so I don't have to check all the time. And that's why the label maker is here. So let's start. Okay, here you go. This was, these are all the labels that I need. And <coughs> let's try and stick them here. This one is going to be cable, cable ties. Okay, here you go. Cable ties. There you go. Now I have to do this to the other stuff. Okay, so I need to add some shelvings in my existing cabinet in the uh, home studio. So I currently have this uh, two-door kind of closet where my aunt used to store her clothes. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to add a, a shelves on in between the cabinet. Remove the, the thing on the middle where the doors clo uh, rest when it's closed. And... I just need to add the additional shelves so I can store more stuff in that uh, space. I'll be doing a more bigger update on the cabinet mm -hmm. soon, but for now the mm -hmm. shelving would uh, suffice for what I need. So let's start.
Okay, so my wife asked me to make one of these. Uh, I don't know what it's called. Uh, in here it says it's a learning tower. Uh, the purpose of this is so that uh, our baby, uh, Tumi, can go up this ladder thing and stand at the top. And the height would be enough for him to wash his hands in the sink. So that's the only purpose for this and I think buying this thing would cost like 4,000 pesos I think or more so that's around 80 US dollars and I have some spare wood or lumber here at the garage and I told her that I think I can make this thing I mean it wouldn't be at, at as perfect as this but something similar or something usable you know I bought some wood, extra wood, just in case. That cost me around 800 pesos or maybe um, like 16 US dollar. So I'm gonna start making this one. Okay, so this is the finished product. Uh, it's not much, but it's definitely usable. Uh, I added also some wheels to make it easier to move this around instead of carrying it. And yeah, baby has been using this act already and seems to be fine, but I still need to add one more uh wood here to prevent him from falling and but this is technically done i'm not going to paint this or anything and this is just it so this is the sink and that's what it looks like when he is going to wash his hands so yeah. Okay, so the last time that I made a vlog here in the master's bedroom is I made the floating sh uh, shelves here below the TV and I extended the speaker cable so I can put the speakers on top of the floating shelf. And since then, I have not yet uh, fix the wires so it's still uh, floating there somewhere so now I've already bought some molding so I can hide the wires and today we're going to uh, install that so finally the eyesore of wires behind the TV can be hidden so let's start
So the god king of all computer monitors just arrived. I ordered this like two weeks ago and it arrived yesterday. So this is the Samsung Odyssey G9. This is the older model, that's why it's just the god king. The newer Samsung Odyssey Neo G9 is the god of all monitor. So in case you didn't know what this is, um, this is a 49 inch ultra wide gaming monitor. Mm, I have done my research a bit on this piece, I mean on this monitor, and I think I really like it for what I'm do gonna, gonna do with it. Based on other YouTube uh, reviews, this monitor feels like you are having two 27-inch monitor without the bezel separating them. And the curve of this monitor is 1000R, which is very aggressive, but Samsung claims it's what your uh, the vision of our eyes can see. So I'm hoping that when I install this, I don't need to look left and right to see the edges of the monitor. So I'm planning to wall mount this at the back of, I mean below of the 55 inch TV because there's no way I'm going to use this um, stand of its, it's pretty, pretty wide. It's probably like, hmm. it's around 15 inches for just the feet. And I'm not sure if the monitor is more wider than the feet. So let's check the box first on what's inside. We have the feet. We have the back cover for the monitor. I'm just checking if there's like a mount to mount the VESA mount, the wall mount. I don't know what this is. I think this is in case you, you don't plan on wall mounting it. Oh, this sounded like metal. So I'm guessing this is the mount for the... Hmm. Where's the... Yeah, so I'm going to use this plate to wall mount the monitor once I install this. But uh, BB is still sleeping, but I'm very excited to see what's inside already. So we have a manual, a display port cable, a very long display port cable, and a power cable. And we also have a USB 3 cable. Just going to unbox it and return it to the box. Why is this so heavy? Oh, uh, we have the um, mount in case you want to use the legs, which I am not going to use. It's pretty, pretty heavy. It's very, very huge. It's also pretty heavy. Okay, here you go guys, it's this big. It's crazy big. <sighs> okay, there you go. This monitor is 240 hertz. So that's supposed to be good with FPS games, shooting games that is. And I do play CSGO occasionally. And that's the only game that I play when I'm bored. Mm, this is also G-Sync compatible, which is, I guess, useful since I have a uh, NVIDIA video card, the 2080 Super. So I'll just wait for the baby to wake up so I can mount this thing, this beast. Camera is having a hard time focusing. 
Okay, so baby is awake and it's time to uh, mount this wall bracket below the 55 inch TV and I'm hoping that this wall bracket is, or is enough to hold this massive 49 inch monitor. So let's turn off the computer and start drilling. Okay, so the mount has failed and it's apparently too heavy. I'll need a bigger bracket similar to this one. Okay, quick update. So I, I removed the um, smaller bracket and I replaced it with the one I used for the CCTV here in the home studio. And I know this is going to be a lot um, stronger. So yeah, we are going to mount the TV now. I mean the monitor. <sighs> okay, stupid mistake. I use stick. Okay, stupid mistake. I used thumb screws to mount the monitor to the uh, bracket. Needed to use smaller um, screws for that. Okay, round two. That one go. I think it's okay. There you go, it's balance. So I mounted the forty nine inch below the fifty five and I think it's fine. So I think I think this will be enough to hold that cheap 32 inch TV. Okay, where's our plug? And I just need to turn on the computer. And where's the power? Okay. First boot. Hmm. No display. Okay, so I just need to change the source. So how do I do that? Okay, 
there you go. So there we go. We've installed this Samsung Odyssey G9, the older one.